of firing more missiles and warning that further actions could be forthcoming. Foreign correspondent Britt Clement is tracking the latest. Good morning to you, Britt. Good morning, Rebecca. Well, North Korea upping the ante again, firing off more missiles as it warns the Pacific could become its firing range. This morning, North Korea ratcheting up tensions, launching two more missiles on Monday, traveling roughly 200 and 240 miles, a day after it fired this intercontinental ballistic missile into the sea off Japan's west coast. The US, South Korea and Japan sharply criticizing Pyongyang's provocations. <laughs> Tokyo now calling for an emergency UN Security Council meeting. And Secretary of State Antony Blinken pushing for further sanctions against North Korea, also calling on China to do more. North Korean state media touting the weapons used on Monday as capable of paralyzing an enemy airfield. And some menacing words from North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's influential sister, Kim Yo-jong, warning the country could turn the Pacific into a firing range. The ominous threats coming after the US and South Korea carried out aerial drills with bombers and stealth fighters in response to Saturday's launch of the Hwasong-15 ICBM, a weapon with enough range to strike anywhere in the continental United States. Well, with the U.S. and South Korea expected to go ahead with annual drills next month, there's now concern that North Korea might escalate things again in the coming days or weeks. Robin? Drills. Oh.